This is Mr. Van Kaplan again. In the last lesson, we learned how to make a, an extrusion that makes your part file a 3D shape. Today, we're going to continue with that, working in the 3D shapes, and we're going to learn how to use the fillet and the chamfer tool. So you want to open a new part, like we always do, standard IN. Choose Create. OK. And now we're going to pick our plane. We want to do the XY plane. We're going to make several shapes in this video. So for the first one, let's make a circle. Uh, anytime you're using a circle, a good idea is to start at the origin. It gives you a great starting point. We want to dimension this circle. Let's make it 4 inches. Okay. Of course, that disappears. Hit the front, and it will zoom it back in for you. Now, just like we did in video 5, we're going to make this a 3D shape. So right-click. Usually, we've been hitting OK, but now we're going to hit Finish 2D Sketch. It's going to give you a different view. Okay, hit the Home button. And now we're going to extrude this shape. When you extrude, remember, you click on the shape, and it gives you that. And we can make it go several ways. We can make it go forwards, backwards, or symmetrical does, comes out a half inch here, half inch here. Let's extrude this eight inches. It's going to be a tall cylinder. And let's go with direction one. Hit OK. Now you can't see it all. The quick fix, hit the home button. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Whoops. Let's see. Let's go with the blue wall paint glossy. Okay, so now that shows up a little bit better. <coughs> the first thing we're going to use, we're going to learn how to use the fillet tool. Okay, if you hover over that, it tells you what it does. Basically, it rounds off the edges or the corners of a part. Okay. So we're going to do a fillet. And this is going to do, you, when you do the fillet, you do faces. Okay. And the default is 0.125 of an inch. We'll change that a little bit later. Okay. So let's make a fillet here. I want you to see what it does. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in. Okay. And now you can see that that is kind of rounded off. If I look at the back side of my shape, it's still flat. Okay, it has that sharp edge. Okay, so let's do a fillet back here as well. But this time I want you to change it so you can see the dynamic of it. Let's change it to a 0.5. And it's going to, you can see it takes a lot of it off. Okay. And now it has also rounded that side off. And you can move around with these different parts of the back. Okay. So that's a fillet. Okay. And then this is a 0.125 fillet. This is a 0 0.50. Anytime you want to change them, you just come over here, double click it. I can make this 0 0.250. Delete that first decimal. And that's done. Okay? So that's the fillet tool. Um, very useful when you start making parts. Uh, think about your tabletop. It's, it doesn't have a sharp edge. It has a rounded off edge. So I fill it one. We we did the default point one two five. We changed it, basically doubled it to one quarter of an inch. And fill it two on the back. We made it a half inch. Okay, and you can go in and change these. That's the useful thing about your browser. Okay. Let's save this as. Oops, Mr. V. Lesson 6, fillet, F-I-L-L, -L. get that out of there, E-T.
Okay, and save that. In just a second, we're going to do the next part of this video, and you're going to save two files in this video. So save that one. Okay, in part one, we made a fillet with a cylinder, and you save that as lesson six fillet. Now I want you to open another new file, and now we're going to learn how to use the chamfer tool. Okay, we did a cylinder last time. This time we're going to make a rectangle. Let's use that XY plane. And in this quadrant, I want you to make a seven. Oops, front by five rectangle. Okay, we've got our rectangle. Let's right click, finish 2D sketch. We want to extrude it. This time, let's extrude it and let's go distance 2. Let's go back. Let's make this 4 inches. Okay, so now we have a rectangular prism. And last time we did a fillet, this time we're going to do what's called a chamfer. Okay, a chamfer adds a beveled edge okay and you can zoom in here and you can see how it's a little bit different okay the default here is 0.125 inches okay and we can we can change that you have these different angles for what we're going to do we're going to leave it this as just a distance okay so now we're just like we did earlier with the fillet tool the fillet lets you pick the whole face the chamfer lets you pick an edge. Okay, so I'm going to do this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. The top of our prism, 0.125. The sides we're going to do a different distance so you can see the difference in it. So hit apply, and then we're going to close that out. And you can see it has put that beveled edge on there. It has a, an angle to it. Instead of rounding it off, it's got more of an angle to it. And I'm going to zoom in there. Um, one thing I didn't do, let's change the part. This gray always looks kind of boring to me. So let's give it some color. Let's go with a, a dark sea green. See how that looks. Okay, now I can zoom in. You see those edges. Okay, that was 0.125. We're going to change it now. Let's do a quarter of an inch, so 0 0.25. And I want you to do that here. And you can see it cuts a lot more. You know, we've doubled it from the top. Here, here, and then your, this is where your cube is really handy. You start moving it around here. You can hit apply or you can hit the screen check and it does that. So now I'm going to go back to my home and you can see the difference between here and here. It's more of a beveled edge. It's just a little bit sharper. Okay. Um, let's scroll down to the bottom. That's the only one we haven't touched those corners yet here. And you can see that corner is angled off now. It's a 45 degree angle. Last thing I'm going to do is do a chamfer here. Let's make this one smaller. Let's make this point. <coughs> point one. Okay, we're going to do it here, 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 and here. And then hit apply. Okay. So now we've done the beveled edge everywhere on there. Okay. So we've learned the hole in the chamfer. They're right there in the same area under your tools. Um, let's do a save as here. File save as Mr. V lesson six chamfer. Okay. So we're, we're in the 3D parts now. In the next couple of videos, we're going to learn how to use this revolve, the sweep, the hole, 
and even the loft, coal, and emboss. Okay. So be looking forward to that. In the next video we'll use the revolve tool and then we'll look at holes and loft. Okay. So you've done two lessons now of the fillet and chamfer. Um, that's going to be a good stopping point for lesson six. You have two separate part files. Make sure you save them like I did in the video. You save the cylinder separate from the rectangular prism. And next time we'll do some more 3D sketching.